And we are back. Little cabinet full of gurglers. Give me all your XP. Ooh. So, yeah, I'm seeing a Nautilus shell there. So they can certainly spawn with... When they convert, they can spawn back in with things that Drowned are supposed to have. Which means a Trident is a possibility. Actually, no. Yes, it... Um, no, no, no. Sorry. Last time I did a zombie spawner that converted to Drowned, it was in the Nintendo Switch Edition. Pre-Bedrock. They certainly got Tridents. Because I was getting shit tons of Trident drops from that particular spawner. So it might be in my best interest to stop that water. Because I certainly don't need Nautilus shells or anything. I've already got three. Bloody hell. <laughs> Normally those are hard to get. Alright, I'm going back upstairs and grab, grab some... I'll grab a sign. Oh wait, do I have... I could probably just make a sign here, actually. Eh... Uh... I do need to clear a path before I can put this in, though. Okay, stop. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> my zon my sp ow. My spawner is too efficient. I can't get room enough to put a sign in. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, let's put the sign right next to my sword. <laughs> And decrease that lag time. Uh, also, sword. There we go. Got it that time. Hello? There we go. There we go. They drop nice and gentle through that water channel, don't they? I'm going to get rid of this. I'm tired of popping up and down on that. Okay, so uh, we are spawn proof in here. Lots and lots of lighting. Everything's easy peasy. Uh, I might just pop that block for the sake of consistency and put a floor level slab there. There we go. Um, let's see if we can clear this up a bit. That's better. Uh, actually, you know what? That's better. Right. Um, well, here's a thought. Am I getting the XP from these guys? I might be able to sneak through there. I haven't actually been paying attention. Yep, I am. Yeah, it's sneaking through the corner, fine. So I just realized I put a full block there. Yeah, it's coming straight through the gap. I might switch that out for a slab anyway, just to make sure we're not losing anything. Actually, I could probably do that fairly safely, as long as we don't have any verns in there. I think so. I'm going to swap the one underneath it out. Just for the sake of visual consistency. There we go. Now we should be clear. Yeah, 
do need to remember to aim slightly lower that sign, otherwise I might accidentally kick that sign off. Although I don't think you can do that with swords, can you? Might be worth putting another sign just above him. He seems to be bobbing about there. Yeah, I think I might put another sign above so they drop straight down. Um, off this side, I should be able to get to it safely. <laughs> Safely-ish. Come on, jump up again. Get out of the way. There we go. Why are you still bouncing? There we go. That's much cleaner. Little by little, we're efficiencyizing I do know for a while trying to easy to get on Bedrock. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch Edition, I got way too many of them. Literally hundreds. Yeah. Alright, I think we're about as efficient as we can get with this basic design here at this point. Nice and clean, plenty of zombies coming through, which means not too many problems in the caves around us. We are spawn proof, safe to AFK if we need to. We do need a furnace though. Actually, now what we need is a blast furnace. And probably another hopper so we can store a bunch of stuff up and put it through the blast furnace one by one. Yeah, all right, let's go do that. Ooh, sun's directly overhead. It's noon. Nice. Look at that. That looks awesome. Hungry pretty quick? Yeah, lots, lots of mining and lots of swords so we can make you hungry pretty quick down there. I'm actually liking my little base there more and more every time I see it now. It's pretty basic design, but... Just enough little detail in it to make it look kind of classy, I think. I'll be happy once I have enough iron to replace some of these torches with lanterns, though. I love a lantern. Right, we have enough stone. What we need is a bit of metal. Okay, we need a little regular furnace. And then we go... Right, where's the blast furnace? Oh, no. oh, I'm missing smooth stone. I always forget the smooth stone. Do I have any left over from last time I did this? Pie stand aside. No, I'm going to do it again. If you get a librarian villager, one of their trades can be a lantern for one emerald. That's true. We're a long way from a librarian, though. I think. Actually, no, no. Wait, I'm an idiot. We don't actually need, like, books and stuff. We just need uh, the, the lectern thing, don't we? We do have a spare villager sitting around waiting for a job. And it is time to kill the cows, so I probably can make a lectern pretty quickly. Let's get this done first, though. But yeah, that's a good idea. If we get lucky in the trade, anyway. Because it can be up to three or four emerald for a lantern, I think. Six is enough. Boom, 
Actually, while that's happening, let's dig up a bit. How is that flesh? There it is. Gobs be gone. I got 60 gold nuggets from those guys already. Bloody hell. Oh, no, that would have been... For, yeah, no, the nether. I haven't emptied that since we went to the nether, did I? I was going to say, that's a bit much. Rates on that seem a bit high. Right, let's remember to fill up the buckets again before too much longer. I'm pretty sure we don't need any more trapdoors or signs or anything. That is away safely enough. And a leather tunic we don't need at all. And... Oops, I know I still need that iron. And... Alright, blast furnace. And I did also actually still need that wood. No, because I got the chest here. Okay, one for deposit, one for the draw. We might as well make him doubles. Uh, and one for the hopper. So, double chest, into hopper, into blast furnace. Out the single chest should be enough, which means I need another hopper, don't I? And I don't think we'll worry about automatically fueling it. I think we can manage just by manually. Let's take a full stack of fuel. Am I forgetting anything important? So, double chest, into hopper, into that, hopper out, diddly diddly dee, easy done. Oh, we must wait till sundown to sleep. I picked up that tunic, didn't I? I sure did. Be gone! Bedrock villagers in extra pain, though? How so? I just remember villagers always being a pain. What's specific about the bedrock ones that make them even more painy? I haven't noticed any major differences so far between trying to deal with them in Java slash bedrock. to pop this, put the crafting table in the floor just in case we need it, and yeah, I think we just pop out all of this. Collection chest there. Upper there. Last you do there. And double chest of Rooney. We are going to need to make room for it to open because I'm not an idiot. I saw that. So I just learned something. I didn't know gravel broke when it hit hoppers. I guess it makes sense because they're not quite a full block, are they? Just never seen it happen before. All right, and ooh, I like the way the light works there. Actually, you know what? Do that. No, that. yeah, much more dramatic. Right, um, proof of concept time. Oh, man. 
metals. But, oh, the gravel actually... Not only did the gravel break when it went into the hopper, it collected it. I'm not sure it could make sense, because it did turn into a thing, didn't it? Yeah. Um, also... There we go. Just put a torch in that void we just made, just in case that's an issue. Nothing can spawn on top of a chest, but still. Gotta be safe, sorry. Plus, it looks kind of cool. Don't need that one anymore. Right, so we're fueled up, we're connected up. We are free of stupid gravel. Glass furnace. I was expecting that to put off a little more light, actually. There we go. There's the drum. No, it's actually not throwing out much. Oh, wait, no, it is. I can even see it reflecting. That's kind of cool, actually. All right, and in come our medals. Yay! I mean, I wasn't expecting it not to work, but still, you got to test. Yeah, it's like a boiler room, isn't it? Especially when you take this one away. <laughs> oh, it even flickers! Awesome. I wish there was a way to have that on permanently, so it could just could be a light source for down here. <laughs> there we go, there's a nice compromise. Yeah, you can see the fire flickering across the surfaces here, it's awesome. Level 30 for the first time! Tell you what, as soon as I can do the enchantment, what we need is Sweeping Edge, eh? <laughs> I need to be able to hit more than one of these guys at once. Almost forgot there, we're in Bedrock. I don't have to wait for my clicks. I can spam click and it's fine. Mine. Cool. So, um, don't need that there. Might as well leave that water source there. You never know where it's going to come in handy. I don't think I'm going to bother about pretting this place up too much. If it was a long-term survival world, I certainly absolutely would, but at some point I might not be able to resist doing your pretty stuff, but for now, we're good to go. We have an XP farm, and also a little bit of supplemental metal. Happy. Um, what have we got on us? Alright, I was going to sort of... Hmm... You know, I'm going to bring back some materials and make a make the entrance stand out a little bit better. Instead of being a hole in the grass. I'm not too worried about getting too fancy in this world, but... We're going to be coming in and out of there fairly often to get XP. At least it should stand out and be easy to spot and look nice. You three guys still doing your thing? No more escapees or anything? Yeah, they must have been coming through the corners, I think. I think we're alright. Everything went back to expectations as soon as we blocked off those corners. Right, let's see here. Polished diorite. Yeah, we use that downstairs. We might as well use that for the entrance as well. Um, and... Maybe, yeah, well, maybe use a sign. Maybe a trap door or two for decoration, who knows. Maybe a signpost with some torches. Uh... And, oh, wait, hang on a sec. 
Maybe a redstone block to make it look dramatic. Yeah, I uh, super dig that kind of, yeah, like you guys said, that boiler room aesthetic we got going down there. It's awesome. And I think, where's my shovel? I think we'll clear with the diagonal of this grass, just so we can see the entrance better from further away. What's up, Chuck? Chicken's very excited about all this. <laughs> What's going on? Stop. Oh. Don't know my own strength. Since when does a single shovel hit kill a chicken? <laughs> well, at least not what not. Non. I just wanted to give him a playful little tap. Not murder him. Officer. <laughs> Your Honor. I think what I might do is... I'm going to put the redstone there so the whole thing kind of glows a little bit. I'm not going to see it in the daylight here, but in the right light, yeah, that'll kick off just a little spooky glow. Just a hint of something dramatic going on down there. Again, once we get some lanterns, I might hang the lanterns off the corners here. Boiler room. Slash. No, just call it boiler room. We don't need to identify it for anyone else on the server. It's a single player world for crying out loud. We'll just call it the boiler room because I think it's cool. Um. There we go. There's that redstone kicking off just that little bit of spooks. Oh, that looks badass actually. Not bad for a simple little build. But we should rush back home before we get ourselves into trouble out here. Pretty sure if you wanged a chicken with a shovel, it would be... Oh, I mean, if you did that with a real chicken, yeah. Ooh. Oh! Backpacker! I forgot those are in bedrock. They're not a Java at all. about how cute that was. Just a, just a little daddy zombert taking his kid out for a walk. No big deal. Attack, attack. how you doing mate? Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? Okay, so that village is in there still alive. Jeez, lots of guys out here. Thonk. Hey, you got an arrow at last. 
killed so many skeletons without dropping an arrow so far. Well, maybe a dozen. I dare you to drop that enchanted bow when I kill you. Yes! What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Unbreaking. Well, better than nothing, I guess. Uh... Right, I guess we can get rid of all these torches. We don't need the spawner that's underneath here anymore. Too far away. Too deep. Don't need it. Is this a cave? This was a cave. I only see coal. Yep, okay, nothing worth having down there. Get up, please. Get up, please. Alright, I'm disoriented. Now where was I going? There it is. See? He's got a depot in the entrance. You can spot it from a while away. Now then, on with business. here as well. Not too much. No, it's just enough. And that way, I got a place to put torches. Um, what did I do with that? Oh, I left the crafting table downstairs, didn't I? I was going to say I was going to craft up a couple more slabs for the front bit. But I think it's alright like that. It's good enough. Serves the purpose. much. I overdid it. Ruined it. I'll tell you what though. This will be spot on. Yeah. trail going there. Another job done. Let's run a harvest. It's been a while. I would say redstone torches if they love more light. Uh, well, I mean, the lighting there is not like to spread light, it's just to make it easy to spot. Redstone torches would work fine down there. But, like I said, I want lanterns there. So, the torches are just intermediate stages until I have enough iron to waste on lanterns. For the sake of aesthetics. <laughs> Look at this. Want villager. Oh, we gave him some seeds! The villager gave the zombie some seeds! What the sh... Leave me alone, I'll give you some seeds. Yes. Another trophy. Thorns, Acro Affinity, and an... Ooh! That might come in handy from time to time. If briefly. All right. How's the chooks going? Oh, chooks are productive. Uh, you know what I should do? I should leave those guys doing their chooky thing. Fence this area back in and use this as a live chook harvest area. For meat and feathers. 
and we just get what we get. Guess the eggs are no good to me. Not making any cakes. Alpaca, yes. Good love the alpacas. Or I think they're llamas, but yeah. Same family. I think alpaca is a better word than llama. Unless, of course, you're a fan of Animaniacs. And only real fans of Animaniacs will know why I said that. So bad. I think alpacas are smaller than llamas. I think you might be right. Certainly one is uh, like maybe 50% larger than the other. If I can find out which is which though. I know alpacas have better wool or finer quality wool. I think llamas make better... Yeah, llamas must be the bigger ones because they make better pack animals for, like, carrying shit. Okay, well, let's grab what produce we have here. We'll make another run of the wheat farm as well because he has a wheat trade. Get ourselves some more emeralds. Uh, they use the word llama a lot in The Sims as well. Do that though. he wasn't gold. Oh, the helmet? Yeah. But, you know, the the ability to last longer underwater is mainly what I was interested in there. So if I have to build something or dive for something, the yeah, respiration... Uh, sorry, no. This wasn't respiration. It was aqua affinity. Ah, wrong one. Never mind then. I got confused. It was the other watery one I wanted. Just in case when we go exploring, or indeed when we go looking for the stronghold, we come across like a treasure ship or whatnot. So it's quite likely we're going to have to cross an ocean to find the uh, stronghold. And there might be a handy dandy uh, sunken ship to raid on the way. Respiration is always good for that. Gives you a little bit extra time. Okay, farm boy, where are you? Let's see what we got. 21 emeralds. Oh, I think we're up to a stack at this point. Chest. Oh, yeah. It's 10 away from a stack. No, 12 away from a stack. We don't really need a stack. I'm just curious to see what an uh, emerald block looks like with this uh, ray tracing on. I bet you it looks awesome.
Okay, let's have a look here. We should cook these up. And I'm going to smelt that one down because it is no good to us. How are we liking our TXMC? I like it a lot. I mean, there are lots of things I don't like about Windows 10, Bedrock, uh, Minecraft, whatever you want to call it. Most infuriating is the way spawning tends to work because it makes certain types of mob farms really, really annoying to make or even get to function. But I fucking love the atmospheric way it looks. I love how smooth it runs. I'm running at 4K. You guys can't see that because I'm streaming at 1080p, obviously, but I'm running at 4K. I do have DLSS turned on, which helps, which means it's not really 4K. It's doing a magical AI-assisted upscaling to 4K. But it's running perfectly, locked to 60 at 4K, with ray tracing on, with several uh, uh, resource packs on. Uh, yeah, it, it runs great, looks great, feels great. It's just really the bedrock mechanics that are the only thing that stops me playing this as my main version of Minecraft. I don't play that many big mob packs, so Java isn't essential for me for that, but... Mechanically, Java is a lot better. Why are you leaving so much wheat behind? Why are you not making bread? And breeding. Oh, probably because of the beds. Yeah, okay. Um... Next mission for today. How are we doing for time? We're good. We're well good. Next mission for those, I might extend this house out this way so we can stack in some more beds so these guys can breed up a bit better. So we can start stealing guys away and giving them jobs. The only problem is I don't have access to any more terracotta. I haven't seen the proper biome anywhere to get some from. So, the extension on this house is not going to look like the rest of the house, which... I don't know. I don't think there's another red terracotta house we can take down, either. There's a couple of orange ones. White one. Or not white, um, yellow. Why did I say white? Uh, it looks really good, just wish it was job. Well, there is a ray tracing shader for java it's not in full release yet it's still in production so you need to be a member of uh Sildur's patron to get access to it but i have been using it for quite some time on java you need a beastie machine to use it because it doesn't use any rtx acceleration stuff it just brute forces it on cpu and gpu but it does look glorious and it is proper proper ray tracing not just uh, a regular shader that we've had on Minecraft for years and years. But yeah, it doesn't run nearly as well as this does. Uh, right, so I guess we'll just use whatever materials we have for the extension on this house. Actually, no, what stone were we using on the outside of that? That was polished diorite, right? Yeah. Let's use that as our base. And... Or maybe not. Don't have much of it. <sighs> All right. Let's use columns on that, maybe. And then... You know what? We have the... We have this now, so what can we do? Right. Um... Think, 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 think. What do I want to do? Yeah, I think we'll... We'll use the diorite columns where we can. We might have to go wood for the rest. Yeah. Um... 
it has polished andesite. Did I write andesite? No, you're right, it's the other one. Doesn't matter, don't have enough of either anyway. In fact, I'm all out of the other. Alright, we'll just make a basic wood extension. Maybe... Yeah, I'll have to do. I've got four bits of orange terracotta. We'll bring it out to the edge of the farm. Because that makes more sense. Easy, tiger. There's no way out for you here. <laughs> Anytime I touch that fence, he makes a run for it. He doesn't want to be there. <laughs> Just does not want to be there. Alright, we need a new shovel. too deep. That's what she said. All right, for the floor. Do we have any, do we even have enough andesite to make a polished andesite floor? Barely. It's going to get covered up in bed, so don't know why I'm bothering. Uh, oh, actually, speaking of yeah, maybe we should extend this out so we have enough room for... How are we going to do this? Actually, no, we can put a bed there, but yeah, we'll just put like four, four beds in here. It'll be enough to get the breeding going anyway. As we take guys out, they might go more. Yeah, that's fine. I might leave this part open to the farm. And how do I want to do this? Let's you know what? I just might glass all the way across here just so it's nice and open. Just a little Open air sleeping room for our basic bitch farmers. I reckon. Actually, this andesite does look nice across the uh, regular floor we've got there. You know, well, let's just do what we can do. We can do a great big line of beds up the back here, can't we? Yeah, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we'll do it like that. These guys are just staring me down. What? I'm trying to make your living conditions better. Um, I'm gonna probably just slab this roof, I reckon. to make me hit you. There, because all the other beds are going to make a white, so we might as well go color, color, blah, blah, blah. Uh, right, how am I going to get out of here without you, these guys trying to follow me? Oh! What fucking time is it? 
espejo. Why did he go to bed? Oh, I guess it is coming to the sunset. Seems kind of early, though. Slabby happening. Way too many slabs. I shift clicked accidentally. It's alright. That's fine. Everything's fine. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's see. Those. I should have a little stack of wool already. Sure will do. Oh, there. Oh, Wait. Why did that not make two beds? I should have clicked on that one. It didn't even work. I should have another bed I collected from a different house right there. Cool. that bed on fire. Questions asked only in a bedrock edition. Why is that bed on fire? Seriously. Yeah, we're probably going to get rid of this. For the sake of headroom. And I guess that's all the beds I have for now. That's fine. We can fit some more in here as we need them. And what else? What else? What else? What else? You know what? I guess some extra lighting in here wouldn't go astray. They should be fine for this. We will put one above each white bed. Oh look, they're at it already. It's working! Uh, he could piss off at any time because we haven't blocked off these windows yet. But that's fine. If he does, we'll just slam him in a boat and stash him somewhere like we did the others. Didn't bring the glass with me, did I? Sure didn't. Don't even have enough fences to block it off. Um, extend this. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> Off to explore the world and get eaten by a zombie. I do not have enough slabs. Yes, I do. Yeah, you're not right. Actually, you probably try and make his way back at night, but I don't think he can get back in. Oh, yes, you can. Sorry, I was thinking that was too high for him, but yeah. Where did he go anyway? There he is. Oh, there's two of them now. Hey, boys. Slightly creepy that they looked directly at me when I said that. I don't even have a microphone plugged into this PC. <laughs> Creepy! Um, glass pane, six of. That's not enough. We need a few more of those. Oh, 
I'll leave one gap open just so they can get back in at night, hopefully. And like I said, I won't, uh, I won't glaze the other side here. There's no need. In fact, we could probably pull that fence out completely. Doesn't really need to be there, does it? Quite nice, actually. Um, right. Now, shall I wait tonight to see if you go back, or shall I put you in a boat and save you somewhere? You know what? Screw it. You're on your own. Can always make more of you at this point. All right. I haven't checked on this in a while. No, we still have zero bone meal from the farm here. How is that happening? Yeah, it doesn't look like they're actually producing. There's still one layer down there, and that's the one I did. Right, okay. Um... Let's see if we can get some leather for a book, make a lecture, and see if we can turn one of these guys into a librarian. Probably should breed these guys up before I slaughter the adults. Let's do this the smart way, not the super dumb way. babies. Don't kill the babies. Alright, how many got left? Four grown-ups, few kitties. Should do. What do we get? We have five leather out of time. Slightly better. Enough for what we need to do, though. There's a chance one of them might try to take your bid because villagers are jerks like that. Oh, yeah. That's all right. In bed, I can actually kick them out of bed. If you right click on them, you actually boot them out of your bed or any bed, really. Oh, there he goes. Myself exploring. Uh, that's, that's one of the things I like better about Bedrock, actually. Java should implement. You can actually boot villages out of bed if you don't want them to be there. You can... Oh, they've added that to Java? Sweet. When did that come in? Hadn't noticed yet. No, no, wait, wait, wait. No, that was in 1.16, didn't they? I remember, I remember doing that in my last world now. I think. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 1.16. Because, uh, yeah, there was the bed in my base that was above the village, and occasionally a villager would make his way up there. I would kick him out. Um, all right, what was I doing? Oh, I was making a book. That's what I was doing. Book for a lectern. Which means I'm probably going to need some wood as well. Alright. Oh, crap. We need a bookshelf for a lectern. I have two books already. Can we get there? Easily. With 
four books to spare. Nice. Oh, which actually means... Um, if I had more wood. Yeah, we can add another bookshelf to our enchantment table at this point. Doink. All right, where shall we put this? Oh, oh, they came back through the window. Let's close it up before they run. Good call on that. Who was that? Uh, Volpix, thank you for that reminder. And I guess we'll put this... Why are you not going to bed? Just watching the others sleep? Put that there. Hopefully one of them will take it for his job. Don't they get grumpy with you, though? Oh, if you kick a villager out of bed? Yeah, they get slightly grumpy. I don't think it's a a huge debuff of uh, their level, though. It just sets you back ever so slightly if you're trying to max out their trades or whatnot. Yeah, so it's not something you should do for funsies, but if you need to, you can get them out of bed. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it! Oh wait, has he used it? His shirt is purple. He has! Alright, that was easy. Uh, we got a cleric, not a librarian. How did we get a cleric? What's the difference between a cleric and librarian? I've suddenly realised I don't know what the difference is. Why are you a cleric and not a librarian? Either way, we've got something to do with our rotten flesh, though, from our zombie farm. So I'm not mad, I'm just slightly confused. Uh, Firek is attached to the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Hell, though. I thought they needed physical contact with it. They need to be able to stand next to it. That's interesting. There's two brewing stations, by the way. There's one in that house there, actually. Uh, or I think it's that house. It's one of the houses nearby. It's got a second one. Can he reset? I mean, he picked up the job, but can he reset his trades without going to his station? Uh, like I said, either way, I'm perfectly happy to have a cleric in the village, because, yeah, we're going to have a ton of rotten flesh now that we've got that zombie spawner up and running. That's nothing but good news on my end, mate. Where'd he go? You're still a nitwit. Where'd my cleric go? Fisherman? Where'd my cleric go? He unclericked. <laughs> What's going on, Bedrock? I mean, I know they can change jobs before you trade with them. But how did he become a fisherman? What's the requirement for you? Oh, the smoker. Isn't it? For the fisherman. A smoker can be a fisherman or a butcher, right? Or, oh, no, 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 no. It's the barrel. It's the barrel right there, isn't it? That's what makes the fisherman. Suddenly realized I've forgotten everything useful about how villages work now. It's been a while since I needed to worry about it. Last time I did a trading thing, I just put one of everything down and it took care of itself. Oh look, now he's changed trade again. Now he's a he's a stonemason. Yeah, they're connecting to the tr things in my in my house. Um I don't think a stonemason is something useful to me. I want the cleric back, actually. <laughs> uh, I wonder if they'd have a stronger preference for trade if I put stations, like, next to them here. Mason sells terracotta and quartz? Yeah, but I don't actually need that. 
I mean, outside of making this house look like it, the extension of the house make it look like that, you know, was that. I don't actually need that for the purpose of the survival world here. Oh, 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 oh. He changed it again. Quickly, lock him in. There we go. You're a cleric forever now, bitch. I am your guidance counselor. You are a cleric. <laughs> it's weird how they were switching jobs so quickly, though. I've never seen that happen. Um, all right, so you've got gold for emeralds as well. That's quite handy. But it's more this I'm interested in. I don't think clerics have much else I'm going to find handy, but definitely the flesh. It'll be real interesting to see if he resets his trade without direct access to the station, though. So I thought that was a requirement. All right, you're my existing farmer. You're already locked in. You're a nitwit. You're useless. And you're the other nitwit. You're useless. Except for breeding. Actually, it's pretty good having the two nitwits here, because it means I can have a breed cycle even if I take all the useful ones away and put them somewhere else. And that's why Bedrock is more of a pain. Yeah, one of one of many reasons. Just it's it's kind of weird and inconsistent sometimes and confused. It's just yeah, even it's not even internally consistent to itself sometimes. Sometimes it'll behave one way and then it'll change its mind to behave another way and you know. You build a farm or a device or a setup around your observations and then it stops working. It's, yeah, it's infuriating sometimes. That's the blast furnace, Bunty. You wanted the smoker. Yeah, put the books away there. Keep that for the smoker in a sec. Plus you can go back into organics. It goes there. Glass goes there. Um, right, let's see if we can do something about this bow. Two, to get it fully repaired. Easy peasy. Not even a choice. Right, also... Let's go fill up my water buckets, because I keep forgetting to do that. And by the time I need them, I'm going to be annoyed at myself for constantly forgetting. Don't believe you can reset his trades without his work session. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's certainly the way it works in Java. But who knows in Bedrock? I'm going to wait and see, just out of curiosity. Okay. Ooh, we're definitely running low on torches at this point as well, aren't we? Let's slam some more of those in. Actually, at this point, I think we can spread this out. Have the bow ready, just in case it's an emergency. I've only got four arrows, but you never know when they're going to come in handy. Right, speaking of arrows, actually, let's check on those chickens. Let's see if the new squad has grown up enough to give me some feathers yet. Sure have. I really need to make this pen smaller so I can reach them, don't I? Kind of interesting. Shrug. Alright, should be able to reach everything I need to reach from there. How many feathers did I just get? 14, not bad.
He gets very curious to see what I'm doing. I was about to say the villager uh, top of the job site block changed the job, but thankfully you realized in time. Yeah, I caught him just in time. And there is there he is. That's him, right? Purple shirt. I think it's purple from here. Yeah, he should be permanently locked in at this point. I think I'm well on top of food at this point. Oh, I did it again, Blast Furnace. Food's not a problem anymore. I've got more than enough meat coming in to keep me fed. It's been a while since I've even risked running low, so... You can strike that off the list of to-dos. Food supply is solid. Alright, grab those. Grab that. Grab some... Flint. Sixty arrows. There we go. Now I feel slightly safer. Good. Good, good, good. And it's even unbreaking, so it's going to last a bit. Everything's coming up Neil House. It's been a pretty good run so far, as far as starting survival worlds go. It's been running relatively smoothly. And a few little dickeroonies here and there. Touch wood, only one death so far as well. And even that was just a silly death where I fell off my fucking <laughs> lookout post and forgot to aim for the water. The whole reason I built it there so I could land in the water and not die. Oops. But then again, I haven't really done anything terribly dangerous so far, anyway. The two desert temples we raided were empty. Not even a single mob. We've only taken on a couple of endermen so far. I haven't even seen a ghast in the nether, actually. Oh, hang on a sec. Yeah, it's been a reasonably calm run. Which I'm kind of appreciating, to be frank with you. Of course, now that I've said that out loud, the next thing that's going to happen is something very, very dramatic and dangerous is going to happen to my face. Uh, I forgot I had all those melons there. Do, 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 do. Farmer doesn't have a trade for carrots, does he? That's a pity. Uh, but he does have wheat, so I'll take that. And... I might rush out to my zombie farm. Where's the sun? Yeah, we got time. We'll see how much flesh we left behind there for our cleric. Follow my brand new path, why not? I actually quite like how this little spotty path has turned out. I'm just going to randomly as I spam the shovel around. But it kind of works, doesn't it? It doesn't look artificial. It gets heavier the closer you get to this thing, which is kind of natural for it to do. Good job, Blunty. You're awesome at Minecraft. Alright. Ah, oh, sweet. Stack and a half. Wait for us. Easy peasy. Walk. Just thinking, the, the fact that those villagers are changing jobs so fast could actually be quite useful when you're trying to set up a trading center. Because on Bedrock, it takes a while for them to drop a job and then pick up a new job when you're trying to reset them. 
The fact that they were, he was swapping like every 15 seconds, so you could just wait until he was the job you wanted him to be and then doink him, make a trade, actually could be quite useful. Oh, what's going on inside here? Wait, what are you? Armora. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, armors aren't terribly useful, but I, um, he does at least have one diamond trade by the time you max him out, doesn't he? I don't know. But it's 32 flesh for a single emerald, but still. We're getting the flesh for free anyway. Alright, we level 2'd him. So, gold for that, that for that. What do we got? Oh, rabbit's foot? Hmm, there have been some bunnies nearby. Might be time to make a bunny farm. Although, the, yeah, the, the frequency of the bunny foot drop is so rare, it's probably barely worth it. I think we'll just stick with the flesh. Uh... Ooh, did he just change again? He just changed again. Uh, no, he's in armor still. <sighs> I'm of two minds whether or not to try and lock him as an armor. I don't think I will. You're in it still. Where's my farmer? What? Hey, hey, hey! Get out of my face! I know you're eager for a trade, but jeez. That's a pretty damn good trade here, too. Four melons? That might be the cheapest trade I've ever seen for that. Didn't really pick up on that before. I was just excited to find the unlucky trades. Feels like a pretty good deal, though, eh? Um, you were the farmer I was just using. Nitwit, nitwit, farmer. What are you now? Butcher! Ooh! Pity I don't have any raw meat on me to lock him in at that. Butcher could be quite handy, because we're getting a lot of meat we're not using. Raw chicken, for example. Now that we've got the mutton and the steak coming in. Unfortunately, by the time I get back with a piece of pork chop, he's probably going to change his trade. See what happens. Uh, mechanics. Do we even have raw pork chop? I don't think I do. Yeah, I cooked up the last of it. Yep, sure did. Oh well. He'll cycle back to that eventually, I suppose. Ah. Um. Right, we have 30 levels. Could try and enchant something else. Maybe my sword, actually. Let's see what we can get on the sword at this point. Smite, sharp, no sharp. Yeah, same as last time. Bummer. Sword is looking a little ragged, though. We might try and repair it at this point. Let's see what it's going to cost. Don't want to be without that. That's the wrong table. One diamond for almost full repair. Two for full repair. Might as well make a new sword at that point. Except I don't have any sticks. Melons are starting to come in fast, aren't they? 
turn around and ready for another harvest. Not complaining about that. That's our path to Emerald Town. Oh, actually, you know what? I didn't notice. Do we have enough for an Emerald Block yet? I want to see what an Emerald Block looks like. I wonder how glinty it is. Does it glow? Did I just hear a witch? Or was that a weird thing in the music? I could have sworn I just had a quack. Keep an eye out. Oh yeah. Oh, hang on a sec. I've had I've had enough for a block for ages. For some reason I was thinking I needed a stack for a block. My brain went wibbly. What was I thinking? Nobody corrected me though. Woo! No, we're putting that on ground level now. Look at that. Oh, lovely. That looks amazing in this. Weird. That might be the best looking emerald block I've ever seen. I've seen a few good looking emerald blocks and various shaders and even the ray tracing shader on Java that I was using and the, and the pack I had with that made emerald look really nice, but not even quite nice as this. Damn, dude. All right. By the time we get the end game, we have tons and tons of spare emeralds. We're gonna have to build something chill out of those. Speaking of which, how much gold can we make here? All right. I want enough. Oh, hang on. So we're, uh, we're real close to getting that fourth gold block for our Tower of Pimps. Just beware of mobs, because we did sleep kind of late. Yep, there's a creeper away over there. Let's not do what I did last time when they blew up my chicken farm. Let's go take, what the hell? Oh, we had, yeah, we had a, uh... oh, what do you call it? A horde. We had a horde. There was a whole bunch of zombies. Hey, you doing, buddy? Just be chill. That's right. that bit away at this point. <sighs> Sigh. Tell you what, the, the, the boom range on the old his booms. Is it just me? Or do they decide to blow up further away in bedrock? Because that distance I, I, I was away from him, he really should have calmed his tits down. I feel like anyway. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's just slam a torch down there so we don't have any weird spawning going on. I'm going to bother about filling in the whole thing, but still. Don't want any weird growling from beneath the ground. Freaks me out, man. in your little boat. Let's 
check on the other guy while we're here as well. Oh, well, he's happy for some reason. He's just all sparkly. Oh, he'll be a cleric though by now, because I left him in a room with it. Yeah, with that stand. Uh, no, he's the librarian. Fuck's sake. He linked to the to the to the lectern. Why? It's way over there, and you're here, and this is right here. Well done, Bedrock. Oh well, we have a librarian now. Uh, coolsy. So yeah, let's spend what uh, emeralds we have so far. And get ourselves enough to boost up our enchantment table. No wonder I couldn't get a librarian to spawn near that lectern. Fuck's sake. Game is trolling me all along. It might be worthwhile to put an iron door in front of this thing too, so I can't get in and out of here without pissing about too much. Because I can't be bothered moving him anywhere else. Okay, uh... Hang on a sec. Where did, he, where did his bookshelf trade go? Uh, did I just have a stroke, or did three... I, 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 what just happened? This is what I get for bragging about it being a fairly smooth ride so far, isn't it? Oh, everything's just going so smoothly and... The instant I start having to deal with villagers on a regular basis, everything goes to hell. Predictably enough. <laughs> um, right, let's see here. I have an book. A uh, couple of bits of paper. Not enough shoot can to make any more paper, but we should have enough harvest by now. Yeah, here we go. Maybe he's... Do they, do they cycle through tr potential trades the same way they cycle through complete jobs? And they don't uh, stop cycling until you lock them in with a trade? Is that what's going on? Actually, you know what? I'm going to... I'm gonna get myself an iron door right now. I think we've got enough to spare. Yeah, we're okay. And I don't have a single piece of wood to turn into a button. Disconnected and reconnected to his workstation and reset his trans? Yeah. That would be what I'm thinking. Oh, I had some fucking location wood anyway. God damn it. Pip, I hope Pip's not watching. She had to when I did that. Doors look badass as well. Didn't even think about that. Actually looks really good with those textures too. But I might break that down and inset it though so it's not flush. Might look even cooler. Uh, also, I'm going to need more than one button if I want to get out of here, aren't I? Oh yeah, that's the shits right there. Uh, 
Oh, it's all kinds of dramatic. He's just staring at the flame there. What? He's not even a librarian anymore. God damn it. Um, let's take this. Take it over to the farm so our guy can actually replenish himself. Wait, do we have a librarian here yet? Oh. Right, so... Infinity. Ooh. I was going to say, that's pretty expensive to try and lock him in at, but it's actually a good thing. Look what that is. 24? That's actually a pretty decent price for that, if I remember correctly. So yeah, fuck it. I'm locking him in. So we have our librarian. With any luck, he will provide to us mending. But before we get there, we need a buttload of paper. Alright, where are you, white shirt? Oh, there he is. If we slam two infinity books together, it makes infinity two, right? No, wait, it, that doesn't make any sense. Infinity, you can't have, you can't have twice infinity. My brain short-circuited there for a second. Uh, okay, so excellent. So he didn't, he did not lose his thing when I picked that up and moved it into here. So now he can replenish. Good, 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 good. Uh. Okay, we're, we're, we're making sense of this slowly. Alright, so it might be time to increase sugarcane production at this point. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do this with intent. Yeah, okay. Um, put a couple of lines of sugarcane here. I'll get rid of these trees later. Is this very interesting? Sure is. You're about to see the most dramatic part of the ray tracing day. As the sun goes down and all the shadows get long. When the sun shines through the slime, it casts it. Oh, I guess the sun is too low at this point. There we go, there's a good example. Light's only coming out of the front of the pumpkin, or a jack o' lantern, that kind of stuff. Ray tracing! Right, um, I was doing a thing, and then I got distracted. What was the thing I was doing? Sugarcane. I was doing the sugarcane. Alright, these... Okay, we're not quite long enough. So you know what, let's fix this so they're just one bucket long, basically. Just to make life easy. And I'm second guessing myself, I'm going to put the sources at this end. That way any sugar cane that falls into the water gets flushed to the useful end where I stand. Or past. And do other normal human things.
Uh, Pink Shukane. Yep, we got a librarian now, Pooks, with a nice little 24 paper trade for an emerald. So it's time to pump the sugarcane action. So right about now, someone in chat has been lurking for a while. Uh, actually, you know what? We should have done this. No, it doesn't matter. There is a slightly better way to do this. But it's too late now. I've dug the trenches. I've committed. But yeah, it's right about now. Someone in chat comes out and goes, Oh, you should, you should put your sugar cane on sand. It grows faster. It doesn't. For some reason, that's one of the most common Minecraft myths that keeps doing the rounds. It has been for like a decade. It's just not true. It never has been. Time to zombie him a couple of times. So he's one paper. For, wait, is one paper for Emerald a possibility? It's crazy. I'm pretty sure that 24 per Emerald is the cheapest native trade and I knew zombifying and de-zombifying could make them give you better deals I didn't know you could get all the way down to one that's crazy jeez oh, <laughs> it spawned immediately upon harvest um, yeah the problem is I am unable to brew Unable to brew potions at the moment because I still haven't found a nether fortress. So I can actually make use of my brewing stand. I got a brewing stand. I just got. I got no brew juice. Got no blaze powder. So yeah, I couldn't even cure them if I wanted to at the moment, unfortunately. Degubify the inventory a bit here. We're getting a bit lost. Well, do I'm on hard. What do I look like a pussy? What difficulty am I on? Always play on hard. I accidentally started to test world on normal uh, when I was just dicking around with this before before we started the, the streams for the Atex thing. On uh, Thursday just gone, I was dicking around, doing some basic testing, trying to find a resource pack that I liked, that kind of shit. And I accidentally started the game in normal, and I was like, why can't I run forever and never get hungry? This is weird. Hunger depletes so much slower in normal mode. Uh, oh, hang on a sec. We should. Uh... I'm breaking one, infinity one. Now it doesn't matter how many arrows I've got. Yeah. That'll do. Until we uh, get a better bow. Or we'll craft a better bow. Uh, okay, paper, we can just put away for the moment. Oh wait, 50. Oh, I left some paper behind. We got another few trades in us yet. Uh, okay, grab those back. Didn't see my other stash of paper. Oh, nice of you to come out and meet me. Just coming to see you, bro. Ooh, so close. What is that you got there? Oh, it's a pumpkin pie. Looked like a Nautilus shell for a second there. I thought, who the fuck trades a Nautilus shell? It's just the farmer doing farmer things. Alright, who else we got in here? Anybody else pick up another trade yet? Uh, wait, did you change your trades? Or are you always redstone? And you're in it. 
nitwit, you're a nitwit. You're the guy we're just talking to. Kind of want to grab these nitwits, take him out of town and shoot him. Right, you've become a fisherman today. I don't think that's any use to me. I'll come back and see you in another few minutes and see what you try and become. Pokemon Platinum or Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon? Please, may you tell me which one you prefer, if that's okay. Hmm. I'd have to Platinum between those choices. I pick Salt Silver above those. Both, though. What are you now? Now he's still a fisherman. Okay. <laughs> Gonna be quite a little fun little mini game trying to see what that guy wants to be, career wise. Uh, okay, let's uh, clear out the inventory here. Zerpy derp. Um, I'll keep these on me just in case we need to break a trade for that other guy. And we should put the iron... Wait, do I need an iron door anywhere else? Might be useful to have one here. Although I can get in and out of the carpet, so yeah. Doesn't matter. Dupe. Okay. Feel like we're doing okay. Do I have... No, I traded away my last book, didn't I? I was going to just enchant a rando book to see what we get, but never mind. Um, at this point, we can just melt those down. And that. Love Soul Silver. Everybody loves Soul Silver. Nobody hates Soul Silver. Soul Silver's awesome. That's usually my go to answer when someone asks me, sort of, or oh, if you could only have one Pokemon game, which would it be? Soul Silver would be my. A Desert Island Pokemon game. Because, you know, it's got the wonderful quality of life stuff that, uh, you know, a remake gets. It's got Kanto and Johto. So you get two maps, two sets of uh, Elite Falls to beat. Uh, sort of 200 odd Pokemon to catch. Yeah. As far as. Uh, what is that doing there? It doesn't belong there. Okay, as far as that whole concept of a desert island Pokemon game, Salt Silver. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here we go. Now. Uh, give me a sec. How are we doing for time here? Yeah, we're just about at the end of this latest two-hour session, so now is as good as time as any to officially erect the long-standing tradition in all, and I mean every single Minecraft world I've ever had, and erect the Tower of Pimps in tribute to the Achievement Hunter Let's Plays of Minecraft, which inspired me to pick up the game in the first place. Because I thought, well, here's a bunch of guys that are exactly my age and they're having a fucking blast playing Minecraft. Maybe I'm not too old to try it anyway. Maybe it's not just a game for four-year-olds. And I've never been happier in my life to... Well, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but it was a very smart choice. And in tribute to the Achievement Hunters for giving me the shove out the door I needed to give Minecraft a proper go. In every single world, we have a Tower of Pimps. In some worlds, we have two. Like in the last uh, Java world, because we made a second base in the nether, we needed a second Tower of Pips in the nether. Yeah, I feel like that's a good way to wrap... Ooh. To uh, wrap up the adventures for today's stream, at least. No, 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 no. Come away from my farms. You're going to blow up, blow up, I beat you. 
Wait a second. I've got an infinity bow now. Shithead. <laughs> now I don't even have to go near creepers to kill them. Yay! Well, the durability on the bow just suddenly dropped all <laughs> instantly, didn't it? <laughs> Alright. We have an XP farm. I'm never going to be short of a way to repair it. At least in the midterm. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this weird strip of land that we used to get the boat across when the villager ran away. It just looks weird. Yeah, back to normal. It's weird how he stands right on top of the... Uh, potion thing to, to make it work every time he's just standing right on top of it lovely all right we do need to put the uh wait what happened to my slime block oh there it is it's just super duper faint in the hot bar. Not quite as faint as glass is, but pretty bad. Uh, yeah, we need to we need to set this up again because it does look cool when the light hits it. Uh, I think I'm gonna put up another block of obsidian because obsidian looks sweet. Yeah, maybe on the other side this time. Did I not pick out the lips? What's happening with my brain? Obsidian. Um. Put it right here, I think. I need to. I can't see it in the hopper. <laughs> This is a cool way to show off the ray tracing when someone pops in and says, Hey, is this ray tracing? I go, yeah, look, see? Um, yeah, <laughs> gotta watch out for that slime stuff. I can't see it. Uh, right, before we shut down Minecraft, let's do one more poke in on this guy. What do we want to be today? You want to be a cleric today. Already have a cleric, thanks. And your trade is even worse. No, wait, it's the exact same trade. Pick again. I was going to splash out and make some lanterns, but I, mean, I don't want to spend that iron just yet. It's still too precious. Tell you what though, I am genuinely enjoying this little survival world we've got going on here. Really, really enjoying myself. It's great to be having fun with Minecraft again, because I did get, did get kind of bored with it for a while there. But super fun and super rewarding to be back in the swing of things. Right, what else needs doing before we polish up this for the day? Don't think I'm going to end the stream either. I think I might stick around and do some Monster Hunter. So we're not shutting down just yet. We're just we're just done with Minecraft for the day. I think. There's like a good stopping point. Why are these llamas so interested in this house over here? What's in there? Well, there's another bed I can steal, actually. Thank you, llamas. using a 3070. I'm running at 4K at a very happy 60 FPS, which, oh yeah, I forgot the uh, 
GeForce experience doesn't lock out the mouse when using Minecraft Bedrock. It's so weird. Let's bring up the HUD. Uh, yes. There we go. So you can see there at the top of the screen corner. Super duper locked at 60. But we are using DLSS, which means it's not internally rendering at 4K. It's doing a sort of magic AI upscale thing. But it works really well. DLSS works really well at the best of times. It works extremely well in Minecraft because of the basic nature of the graphics to begin with. So your rank of 4K at 60 is a doddle with ray trace sound in this game. Can't say that about many games. Even with the 3070. Right then, so that'll do it for the sake of the recorded episodes that are going to go up on YouTube secondary channel at some point. We'll sign off for the rest of you watching live. I think we just might switch over to some Monster Hunter uh, demo and get some of that in. <laughs>